Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3. In our last tutorial, we went over variables. In this one, we're going to go over functions. Um, what a function is, is it allows you to take a segment of code and reduce, uh, repeat that code several times um, in a much smaller, smaller sense. So let's say that we wanted to add int and flow all the time. Um, so we can actually just define function int, or actually we can say add underscore integer actually say numbers and then we have the curly brackets and um, or actually the brackets and then we add curly brackets and that's the basic uh, format with your functions now when you define functions it doesn't matter where you, where you define them within your PHP code it can be at the top, at the bottom, in the middle Usually, you always want to keep all your functions together. So, if it's going to be at the bottom, keep them at the bottom. If it's going to be at the top, keep them at the top. Um, don't put them all the way out within your code and have them scattered about. Um, now, um, within the brackets here, you're going to end, um, go ahead and define what you want to have for your input. So, we're going to have two numbers here. We're going to say num or n and then we can say w and it should be our two numbers here and then we can say um, results equals n plus w now this is really bad but this is basically how you do that and um, let's go ahead and return our results so if we ever want to actually use it we can say uh, return result and that's our basic function now if we wanted to use our function let's say uh, in here with our echo we can do add number numbers and brackets and then we can inject two, two numbers here so saying 23 and 32 so if we go ahead and save this go ahead and run the command we get 55 for the output. Now the reason why this is actually bad is because technically when you define a function and you're gonna have other people use it they don't know that they need to inject um, integers. So one of the things you can do is define um, some documentation. So let's go ahead and inject some comments. Um, you can inject it inside or out, it doesn't matter which one. I prefer outside, so I'm going to say add underscore numbers, and then you can do integer, comma, integer. And again, that's just some good coding ethic for you, so people know what these have to be. Um, also, lastly, or not lastly, but another thing you can do within functions is add an optional input. So let's say that we want to have a third number just in case. You can have um, z equals no. Actually, just put zero. All right. So then, when you actually define this, you can say. Um, plus z or percent or dollar sign z and then give us the result and since it's zero it would never actually change it unless we define it and then if we wanted to define it we can give it some number now let's say if, um, you can have multiple optional inputs let's say if we give this uh, y so we actually change this to z equals zero and we say y equals zero and then we can do y plus z. Um, when you actually define our our first one, and um, you, I mean you you can actually define the three and have the fourth not defined. But let's say if you wanted y to have zero and z to be zero, you'd actually have to define both of them just to get the z. That's one of the limitations of PHP using optional input. And um, 
also you might want to do some checking here by using an if statement to double check that these are numbers and not like a string or an array so um, the person using this function won't get lost or won't use this, use this um, badly and that ends the screencast